So let's get going into our topic today, the five steps to retire rich and happy. So let's start by first giving you a little bit of my background. I started in the financial services industry in 1999, so I've been in the industry for 22 years now, going on 23 years, almost a quarter of a century. Um, And when I got into the industry, I realized there was two major problems in the financial services industry. The first one being the fact that the whole process of financial services is basically a selling process. It is people running around selling products to people without a lot of focus being put on uh, planning, on uh, creating strategies and education more for first and foremost. Um, the second problem was the retirement crisis and that was highlighted to me um, because of my dad's situation. So those of you, those of you who don't know the story of my dad, um, he started working in the on the mines um, when he was very young. Uh, He worked on the coal mines uh, for almost 40 years and he did everything right. You know, the the lessons that they tell us since we are very small, go to school, get a good education, go work for a company, get onto the pension fund and then save as much as you can, live within your means and at the end of the 40 years you will have enough money saved up to live a comfortable retirement into your golden years. Now, my dad did all of that. He never took out his pension. He worked at one company. Um, He retired, bought a house cash, didn't have a lot of expenses. And even after doing everything right, by 1999, he was retired for about five to six years. And the income just didn't keep track with inflation. And he started running out of or started running into cash flow problems. So I looked at that and I thought to myself, you know what, if if somebody who did everything they told us is the recipe to retire comfortably, still couldn't retire comfortably, there must be something wrong with the system. And that motivated me to start doing some research on how can we fix the system because surely the best we could hope for after working for 40 years is not to retire with 50 to 70% of our incomes. There must be a better way. And that's when I started developing um, the five step program. So the five steps is as follows. I'm going to quickly share with you the five steps and then we're going to go from there and dive into each one a little bit deeper. So the first step is called invest in yourself. This is all about education and development. So developing you as a person, developing your mindset and developing your financial intelligence. Um, The second step is minimize your risk. And the importance of minimizing your risk is um, that you need to make sure that doesn't matter what happens to you, your life and your dependents' lives can continue in the same manner that you were used to. Um, We aren't in control of everything that happens to us. We are in control in how we react to what happens to us, but we are not in control of what happens to us. So we don't know. You get in your car, you go to work, and a taxi skips the robot, he hits you, and you're paralyzed. These things happen. We might think it only happens to other people, but the reality is it does happen. And if these things happen, you have to have your foundation solid, your financial security in place to make sure that your life can continue and your plans can uh, continue so that you can retire comfortably. The third step, once we've minimized your risk, we then go to become an entrepreneur. So this is extremely important because you cannot think you will generate enough income from your primary source of income, that is your job or your salary, uh, to save enough to get you to retirement. You need to create MSI, multiple sources of income, and we'll talk about that now. The key here is that that profit you make from that entrepreneurial venture of yours needs to go and build a capital asset so that that can become freedom income that will um, guide you towards your financial freedom. So that capital asset, once you've built it, you then go to step four of the process, which is investing income generating assets. So you take your capital, you put it in, in, in to an income generating asset, which creates another income stream. And then we create a generational wealth spiral. And as I say, when I go into each of these steps in a little bit more detail, um, we will talk about this generational wealth spiral. 
And then step number five is all about retiring happy. And that is called pay it forward. It is about sharing what you know, making a difference to other people's lives or making a a contribution to somebody else's success. So that is the five steps. Invest in yourself, minimize your risk, become an entrepreneur, invest in income generating assets and pay it forward. And that is the five steps that is the cornerstone of everything we do. This is what we teach people and this is where our coaching uh, fits in uh, to help people do everything.